Also, in just a matter of minutes, jury selection will begin in the corruption case against New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez. The senator is accused of accepting bribes in exchange for political favors. He faces 16 criminal charges, including obstruction of justice and acting as a foreign agent. News Nation's Emily Finn has more on what we can expect from day one in trial. We have a couple of questions here. One, what is the defense's strategy and also the likelihood that he's going to throw his wife under the bus in this case. Yes, uh, we've been taking a closer look at his potential strategy throughout the morning here, Marnie. Senator Menendez is kicking off his high-profile bribery trial today in Manhattan related to those charges that he allegedly took part in a years-long scheme to funnel aid to Egypt. But his wife, who's also facing charges related to the alleged bribes, is expected to be a main focus of the defense's case. Menendez's lawyers are reportedly preparing to shift blame to Nadine Menendez. She's accused of collaborating with her husband to steer weapons and aid to Egypt and meddle in criminal investigations of allies in exchange for gold bars and hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash. These are all items that they found during a search of the couple's New Jersey home. It's a case that has rocked lawmakers in D.C., including Senator Fetterman, who compared the charges against Menendez to George Santos, the embattled former congressman, who was ousted from his role last December. I've been calling for that sleaze ball has to go. And I don't know why we have to get rid of Santos uh, and we would keep somebody like him around. So Nadine Mendez does have her own trial coming up in July and her husband's trial beginning today will give her legal team a preview of the extent of the government's case against her. Senator Menendez could possibly testify, and if he does, he's expected to turn on his wife, saying she withheld information from him, and she led him to believe that nothing unlawful was happening with the bribes. According to trial attorney Mercedes Colwyn, it's a strategy that could actually play out in his favor in court. Now it looks like there might be some finger pointing. So if Senator Menendez decides that really he had nothing to do with these alleged crimes that he's been accused of, but rather it was his wife, Mrs. Menendez, who kept a lot of what was happening between herself and the alleged co-conspirators to herself so that she could enjoy this very lavish lifestyle, it'll be interesting to see how it involves. But as a defense attorney, I can tell you that's a great strategy point that Senator Menendez lawyers can use. So something we need to remember, Senator Menendez is nearing the end of his term, and despite facing these legal troubles, he's left open the option to run for re-election in November. If he were to be convicted and forced out of his position, the Democrats could potentially lose one vote of their already slim majority, Marnie. Right, one other major case to watch today. Emily, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.